Hi, I'm Megan. I'm here with another awesome tutorial from Voice Stream Digital. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to connect your Voice Stream broadcaster to your account and begin streaming live audio to your radio station in four simple steps. Step 1. Open your web browser and navigate to your account's control panel login page. Keep in mind that this panel is fully web-based with full support for iOS and Android devices, so you can access this page from any remote location. Step 2. Enter the username and password that was given to you by your stream hosting provider. Once you are in, you will be greeted with your dashboard. You can use this page to get a lot of useful information about your profile page, listener statistics, auto podcast recorder and more. Step 3. Locate the device add-on menu option, then select the add remove device menu item from the drop-down menu. On this page, click the add broadcast client button option. At this point, you will be greeted with a pop-up box asking you to enter your device's title and serial number. For the title, you can enter any name to represent this device. For the serial, you would enter the serial number located at the bottom of the device. Once you are done, please click Save to complete the setup. You can now click the newly added device in your device list. Step 4. You can now plug the device into your Ethernet connection. Please also make sure to connect some audio to the 3.5mm AUX connector located at the front of the device then connect the other end to your audio source. Connect the power cable to power up the device. Once the sync LED goes solid, the device and page will auto-refresh and display the device control panel. If you don't want to wait for the page to update, you can also click the refresh button on your browser. And there you go! No other configuration is needed at this point. As you can see, all my broadcast information was automatically loaded from my hosting provider. I can stop and start my live broadcast all from these options located on this page. I can also play the audio that my device is broadcasting from this player. That's the end of this tutorial. Please be sure to check out my other tutorials. Bye for now.